Hi friends, I'm Fred Holliday with Atlas Van Lines here in Fredericton, New Brunswick today, speaking with one of our best crews in the country about providing an excellent quality of service. These people get some of the highest ratings in the country, and I wanted to find out why and how we can do that and emulate that right across the country for all of our customers. Well, one of the first things I do is uh, I kind of analyze who I have with me this day. Um, if I've got one experienced other packer with me and maybe somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience, they, I'll just explain to them, you pack the books, you pack linen, stay away from the glass, we'll take care of that. Be kind and courteous to the customer. Uh, if, if there is any issues, come to me first be, before anything escalates out of it. To ensure that everything is put back in the proper rooms, we use labels. And I'll explain this to the customer. Um, we have uh, bedrooms one, two, and three on it. Um, I will get the, ch the child's name from that room, and it's written on there. For contents on the label, uh, we'll write down, say, uh, if you're packing lamps, uh, ornaments, you write on lamps and ornaments. And then on top of the carton, you write fragile. And that way there, whoever's moving it, they'll see that they'll know it's breakables and they'll be careful. Like the basement, don't just generalize the whole room as basement. It's not one set thing for every house, right? You got your master bedroom, your kitchen, living room, all that stuff, shed. That's pretty basic, but some rooms aren't the same in one house as they are to the next. And Other than that, to clearly mark the boxes and no cross room packing. You don't take stuff from another room and put it in that box. This is where you run into a lot of problems like that. That goes back to experience because you know what size box you need. Two cubes, four cubes, five cubes. Uh, depending on what's left in that room, you go by the determine the size of the curtain. If you do have a little bit of room, fill it full of paper. Don't mix, don't mix from room to room. Suggestions there, when we do the walkthrough, we go around from room to room. They'll tell me what goes, what does not go. I indicate one room of the house to be a safe zone, being a a closet, uh, a corner, a corner of a room where they can pile the stuff. And uh, basically you mention that to them and uh, there's, no, there's no further problem with that issue. On the final walkthrough, you ask the customer to go around room per room, check all the drawers, check under the beds, closets, and ask him if he's satisfied with it. I find uh, after the pack job is done, I'll go around the house myself at first, kind of check out everything. And then at the end, I'll have the customer follow me and have him check. And I'll kind of, we supervise each other, checking under beds, closets, crawl spaces, you name it. Like if you've, you've really got to go through the house. If they're happy, they'll let us know. And we shake their hands, get the bill signed and have them tell them to have a good move. The reason why we get high ratings is quality of work and communication with the customer. Just treat the customer with respect and fulfill their needs basically and that's uh, joking around with them helps quite a bit. A little bit of music here and there helps quite a bit and everybody always comments they had a good time at the end of the day so <laughs> if you're happy with what you're doing it's going to reflect on others right? It all spreads out. Well with the amount of paper that we use and they they watch us pack glassware and they see how it's done. They're very happy with uh, the way it's done because uh, we're taking good care of their belongings and everything's standing upright. Uh, glassware, uh, clothing, bedding, everything's packed neatly. It's not just thrown in. And once they see all that, they feel comfortable. And I find that's how we get the good ratings. I think the, uh, what comes down to the ratings and why we're so successful at that is uh, personality. You've got to have a rapport with the customer. When you, when you walk in there, you can't have a chip on your shoulder because it's pretty stressful for the customer when you're moving. You know, they claim next to death and divorce, moving is the next stressful thing. So you've really got to open up to them and just be honest with them, you know, uh, and friendly. You know, you can joke with them. When you first meet this customer, you, you, have a, you can almost feel them out. You know, whether 
they're having a bad day, a good day. And you've just you've got to be sympathetic that way. You've just you've got to you've got to show you care.